What's up everyone? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian. It's really chilly here in Austin, Texas. So chances are it's chilly in other places too if it's this cold in Texas. And it's really hard to get on the mat when it's really cold. All we want to do is eat and watch TV or read books and that's all great, but we want to keep moving to stay in shape, keep the juices flowing, great for circulation, etc. So we thought we'd do something really special uh, for you this week. We want to share a class from our Empower series. Empower is a great big package of yoga that we sell on findwhatfeelsgood.com and it is my version of power yoga. Uh, this was a big request that we got, so we made this power yoga package called Empower and we want to share an entire class with you for free today here on YouTube, which will help, hopefully help you to get on your mat and stay moving during these cold, wintry months. So it's sunny, it's sweaty, it's fierce. Hop on the mat and get ready for heart. Welcome, my friends. Today, we're going to start in a seated position drawing the left heel in, and then the right ankle to follow. We'll reach the fingertips forward, breathe into the outer edge of that right hip. So rather than having the ankles crossed here, we have one foot in front of the other. You can relax the weight of the head over, you can come onto the forearms, you could sway a little side to side as we begin to check in with the breath and tune in to the body. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Forehead might come all the way down to the mat here. Breathe deep. Press into your sit bones and slowly begin to roll it up. Great, we'll switch the legs, right heel in, left leg follows. And same thing, we gently walk the fingertips out, check in on the other side. Maybe you stay lifted. Or maybe you begin to relax the weight of the head over, coming onto the forearms, even drawing the forehead to the earth as you sway a little side to side, deepening the breath, checking in. Let go of the day thus far. Let go of the to-do list ahead. Slowly we'll walk it back to center. Take a deep breath in as you draw the palms together at the heart and loop the shoulders. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. Repeat your intention to yourself, honoring the power of word, the power of thought. And then we'll consider it already done as we take a nice deep breath in and a long, smooth exhale out. Send the fingertips forward. Press into the tops of the feet as you come into tabletop position. Knees underneath the hips, wrist underneath the shoulders. Extend through the crown of the head. Then we'll drop the belly, inhale. Heart radiates forward. Exhale, curl the tail under. Arch the back. Inhale, crawling up and down the spine. We check in with a little spinal flex here in cat-cow. Move with your breath. Go inward. Now walk your palms forward, curl your toes under, and send it up to downward facing dog. Pedal the legs. Stretch the soles of the feet. Wake up the side body. Knit the lower rib cage together and shake the head a little yes and no. Then we'll bend the knees generously and hop the feet up towards the front edge of your mat. Forward fold. Grab the elbows, rock a little side to side. Take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, slide it down, working out the kinks. Tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, roll it all the way up to standing. Sweet, open the palms. 
find extension through the crown as you press through all four corners of the feet. Inhale, reach the fingertips up overhead. On your exhale, diving forward, soft knees. Inhale, flat back position. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reach it all the way back up, full breath. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, we inhale, reach it up, take up space. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long, beautiful neck. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale to the heart. Again, inhale, getting the juices flowing as we reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, soften and bow. Great. Step the right foot back. Come to a runner's lunge. Breathe in and out. Then plant the palms. Step it back to plank. Chaturanga to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right foot up. Check in with runner's lunge. Breathe in and out. Then we'll rock that back foot up to meet the front. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, slide it down. Inhale, reach it all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Soft knees. Inhale, we reach it up again. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bow. Fingertips come to the mat. And we bend the knees generously, bringing the belly to the tops of the thighs. As you inhale, reach the fingertips forward, up, and back. Come into Utkatasan, chair pose. Sit bones hover over the heels. We lengthen through the crown of the head. Breathe deep in this fierce pose. Hug the inner thighs together. Inhale, straighten the legs, slight back bend here if it feels good, and exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bow. Step or hop the feet back to plank and give it a rock, checking in with the body today. Then when you're ready, we'll slowly lower down, chaturanga or chaturanga practice, lowering the belly all the way to the earth and lifting up to cobra. or checking in with up dog, so we always have options here. Mix and match, choose your own adventure, then we'll send it back up and into downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up, stack the right hip over the left and begin to draw circles with the right knee. Consider carving a line with your right knee as you anchor down through the left heel and reverse your circle. Breathe. Then step the right foot all the way up, pivot on the back leg and inhale, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, release. Step the right foot back, come into your plank and vinyasa. Again, choose your own adventure here. Strengthening, happy, soft and easy. We'll come to downward dog and lift the left leg up. Same thing here as we draw circles with the left knee. Consider carving a line through space as you anchor through the right heel and reverse your circle. Great, step that left foot up all the way into your lunge. Pivot on the back foot. Inhale, rise up, warrior one, and exhale, release. Awesome. Rock the back foot up to meet the front, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release, and bow. Great, bending the knees. Once again, we come into our fierce pose. Nice and low, sit bones hover over the heels. We spread the fingertips, press into all four corners of the feet. Inhale, exhale, straighten the legs, reach it up. Palms together at your heart. Deep breath in and out. Great, my friends. Now we'll come to the center of the mat for our heart pumping sequence. Bring the hands to the waistline, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees generously. 
Then we'll step the right out for a squat, then bring the feet together, then to the left, and so on. Move nice and slow, a nice steady pace here so you can stay easy with the breath and tall through the spine. Working the lower body here today, keep the head over the heart, the heart over the pelvis. Heart stays lifted here, and we release. Great. Now step the feet wide, and we move into jumping jacks. Getting the blood flowing, the heart pumping. Keep a sense of humor here. Maybe you remember when you were a kid and you did jumping jacks. Again, we don't need any equipment here, just our bodies in space, and a sweet connection to our breath. Release. Back to the squats. Make it fun. Draw your lower belly in. Elbows wide. Keep it going one more, then release. All right, back to the jumping jacks. Here we go. Now, rather than just throwing your body in space like you might have done when you were a kid, maybe, see if you can bring full body awareness to this jumping jack. Smile when you need to. Stay in control of your breath. Release. Great, we'll step up to the front edge of our mat. Connect to the breath. As you inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, slide it down. Great, we're gonna hop the feet back to plank here. You can always lower the knees for a half plank. And we practice chaturanga, hovering. As we inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot up. Pivot on the back foot. As we reach up again, warrior one. This time, interlace the fingertips behind the tail as you open the chest. Inhale in, then we release. Send it back down, step the right foot back, and vinyasa. Make it your own. Choose your own adventure. From downward dog, lift the left leg up. Step it through to your lunge. Inhale, we rise up strong, warrior one. Then we'll interlace the fingertips behind the back, open the chest. Great, release, warrior one. And we float it back down. Rock the back foot up to meet the front, forward fold. Then we inhale, flat back, exhale bow. Bend the knees, coming into your fierce pose. Don't shy away from it, embrace it, meet your edge. Press into all four corners of the feet. Then slowly we'll release, bring the palms together in line with the heart. Interlace the fingertips, keep the index fingers pointing forward. Inhale, straighten the legs, extend the arms up. Exhale, Utkatasana, hands in line with the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, Charlie's Angels, forward. Inhale, straight legs, and exhale, chair. Moving with the breath, connecting navel to spine as you bend the knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bending a little deeper. Marrying the action to the breath, the breath to the action. We'll sink down into our chair, bring the palms together, and twist to the right. Try to keep the knees together here. Extension out through the tail and up through the crown. Then we'll release to center and take it to the left. Press the palms together. Extend through the crown. Inhale, come back to center. 
Then we'll release and reach it all the way up towards the sky and find an exhale, hands back down at your heart. Feel your heart beat against your thumbs. And then we'll inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, enjoy this move as you dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, bow. Step or hop the feet back to plank. Nice and strong, chaturanga or chaturanga practice. Up dog or cobra, send it back, downward dog. Take a deep breath in as you lift the right leg up and step it into your lunge. Pivot on the back foot, inhale, rise up, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, interlace the fingertips again as we open the chest. Now melting down into humble warrior, keep the outer edge of that back foot strong as you slowly release the crown of the head to the earth. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, stay strong through that back leg as you melt it forward. Full body strengthener here. Press into the ball joint of that front big toe as you rise up and slowly melt down. Fingertips going up and overhead. We'll stay here for one breath cycle in and out. Nice, smooth, deep breath. And slowly we'll release, coming all the way back up. Reach the arms up and overhead. And then on an exhale, float it down. In runner's lunge, plant your left palm as you inhale, open up through your right arm, twist. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, rise up. Feel free to lower that back knee if you need to. Exhale, release. Last one, we inhale. Hold in the twist for one breath cycle. And then release. Lower the back knee. Send the sit bones back. We fold over that front leg and we find three waves through the spine. This is definitely something we develop with practice. So do your best. Then we'll shift the weight forward, come back to our lunge, and step it back to plank for a vinyasa. Move with your breath. Together we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Here we go. Drop the right heel, lift the left leg up. Step it into your lunge. Pivot on the back foot and when you're ready, we'll inhale, reach up to Virabhadrasana one. Release the fingertips, interlace them behind the back. Once again, we open the chest, extend through the crown of the head, and in your own time, melting it down, humble warrior. Strong legs as you inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, keep the outer edge of that back foot strong, humble warrior. Inhale, we rise. Exhale. Humble warrior. Hold here for one breath, strong legs. And then we rise up. Release the fingertips, warrior one. And then slowly we'll take it back down. Right palm comes to the earth here as we open the left arm into a twist. Hug that left knee in towards the midline. Lower that back knee if you need to. Three of these, moving with the breath. On your third one, hold there for one breath cycle. In and out. On an exhale, release back to center. And lower that back knee, pulling the left hip crease back this time. We find that wave in the spine, three of these. So again, if you're new to practice, be patient. Slowly you'll bring an essence to your vinyasa flow, to your hatha yoga practice that is uniquely you. It's all about discovery. Shift your weight forward, come back to your lunge. Then we'll rock that back foot up to meet the front, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Nice. Inhale. Utkatasan. Bend the knees generously. Sink the hips down low. 
Interlace the fingertips this time behind the back. Open the chest and melt it forward. Belly comes to the tops of the thighs. Inhale, open your heart, lift up. Exhale, belly to the thighs. Inhale, open your heart, knuckles down. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, straight legs, slight back bend here if it feels good. And exhale, it's a mountain. Take a deep breath in, exhale out through the mouth. Great, then we'll walk it back to center for our second heart pumping series. Bring the hands to the waistline, bend your knees generously. Step the right foot out to your squat, bend to the left. You can find a soft knee here, a little bit of a bounce. Another option here is to come into Charlie's Angels, interlacing the fingertips in front, index finger pointing out. Smile. Make sure those knees aren't going past the toes, but rather in line with the toes. Head over heart, heart over pelvis here as we breathe deep. Keep it going. And then we'll reel it back to center. Jumping jacks. I would have never thought that I would put jumping jacks into a Yoga with Adrian sequence. But when I was exploring what to do for my power yoga, I thought there's nothing better to get the heart rate up than a good old fashioned jumping jack. We don't need any equipment or anything fancy. And it inspires a childlike quality, at least for me. Bring it back to center. And here we go back to the squats. Remember you can keep the hands on the waistline or send them out in front, interlacing the fingertips, index fingers pointing forward. When the going gets tough, I say shine a little light. So when the legs start to burn, pay attention to your alignment, smile. Enjoy the silliness and we'll bring it back to center. Inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, release. Great, bring the hands to the waistline again. And then we'll walk it back to the front of the mat. Great, hit the refresh button, my friends. Find soft knees as you inhale, reach it up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale bow. Step or hop it back to plank. Strong, beautiful body. Chaturanga or Chaturanga practice. Choose your own vinyasa here. Send it to downward facing dog. Great, lift the right leg up into your lunge, pivot on the back foot. Once again, inhale, rise up, warrior one. Then interlace the fingertips behind the back. Again, we open the chest, come to humble warrior as you release, crown of the head down to the earth. Inhale, rise up, exhale, float it down. Strong back leg as we rise, exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise up, reaching the arms up, palms come together as we pivot on that back foot, come into high lunge. Moving into a deep twist here, a nice detoxifying twist, moving to the right. You can lower that back knee here if you want. Then we'll gently release. Lift the right leg up, shift your weight forward, and vinyasa. So I'm keeping my right leg up here just for a little fun. Something fun to work towards experiment with or skip it. We'll meet in downward dog. Lift the left leg up into your lunge. Pivot on the back foot. Deep breath in as we reach it up, warrior one. Then release the fingertips to once again interlace behind the tail. Humble warrior flow, we inhale. Exhale, bow forward. Strong legs as we inhale, rise up. Finding a bit of a wave in the spine now. Keep the back leg strong. Front knee over front ankle. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise up. Then we release the fingertips all the way up. Palms together at the heart as you pivot on that back foot. And move into your twist. Spike that right heel towards the back edge of your mat. 
breathe. Gently release back to center, plant the palms, and give it a try if you want. Send that left leg all the way up, hug the elbows into the side body, lower down, and then we inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under, press it up strong, and send it back, downward facing dog. Awesome, take a nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Bend the knees, hop the feet up towards the front edge. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release. Bring the feet together, keeping a little space between the heels as you bend the knees and reach the fingertips up, Utkatasana. Only one breath here as we inhale in, exhale, straighten the legs, slight back bend. Release back to mountain, and then we'll step back to the center of our mat. Hands on the waist or out in front, we soften the knees and jump into our squats. To the right, to the left. Nice steady rhythm here. Move with your breath. Make it work. Now, as your practice begins to unfold, you might begin to speed your squats up. But if we're just now diving into this, I say keep it nice and steady. You always have options. When you feel satisfied, bring it back to center. And here we go. Jump, jump. Have fun with it. Join my yoga dork parade. Happy, healthy heart here. Keep it moving. And then we'll release. Good job. Shake it off. All right, now we're gonna step the legs nice and wide. Turn the two big toes in slightly. Then we'll reach the fingertips forward, dropping the right arm underneath the left as they come to wrap around in eagle arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into the outer edges of the feet as you reach all the way back up, elbows lift. And exhale again, fold. Full body experience here as we inhale, rise up and exhale, fold. Inhale, we rise and gently unraveling the arms here, bring the hands to the waistline now as you hop the feet in. So just a little bit wider than hip width apart now, we're gonna turn the toes out and take the opposite arm under. So as the left arm goes under as we clasp the palms or the wrists. If the palms don't come together, no biggie. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, deep squat. Inhale, up. Exhale, goddess flow. So even if you're a dude, you can tap into your goddess energy here. Technically, we're just tapping into our god energy, coming into our power. As we sink down into a squat, now we'll hold, reaching fingertips, elbows up. Gently look to your right and bring it back to center. Look to your left and back to center. Awesome, my friends. Inhale, straighten the legs, unravel the arms and bring the palms together at your heart. Bend the knees deep, slowly lower the sit bones down. We're gonna walk the heels in a little bit here, come to a froggy pose. Dropping the center to the earth. And then you might stay with the heels lifted or you might begin to drop the heels. And if you do that, you might draw the palms together at the heart. Fingertips can be on the mat for stability again. We always have lots of options. Take care of your body, connect to your breath. Maybe you draw the chin to the chest. Maybe you reach the fingertips forward, breathing into the back body here.
Maybe we gently walk the fingertips to the left. Maybe we crawl the fingertips to the right. Awesome. Wherever you are, release it back to center. And slowly we'll rise up, forward fold. Then make your way to the front edge of your mat and begin to sway a little left to right. Relax the head and neck. Then we'll come to center and inhale, lift to flat back once again. Exhale, bow. Inhale, float the fingertips all the way up and exhale to the heart. Tadasana. Inhale in, exhale, lion's breath, tongue out. Inhale in, exhale, lion's breath, tongue out. One more. Inhale in, exhale, make it a good one, lion's breath, tongue out. Super fierce. Super awesome as we draw the feet together back at center. Great. Moving into dancer or preparation for dancer, we'll interlace the fingertips and catch the right knee. Press away from your standing leg. So don't collapse into that left foot, but press away as you slide your right hand to your right ankle. Left thumb comes to the sternum and we can just stay here, focusing on one point. Or we can switch the hand to grab the arch of that right foot as we kick the right toes up, lifting the right knee up towards the sky. Left fingertips can come forward as we find extension through the crown and lift up through the center channel. Again, think about lifting the right toes up and kicking it away. Then slowly slide it back, interlace fingertips around the knee, squeeze it in. Then we'll draw the hands to the waistline as you kick the right heel out and slide it back to mountain. Awesome. Let's try the same thing on the other side. Catching the left knee here, taking your time as you move into dancer. Sliding the left hand down to the left ankle whenever you're ready. Right hand comes to the heart. Lift your sternum to your thumb. Kicking left toes back this time, lifting the left knee. You might grab the arch of that foot if you're ready to move into the posture and send your right fingertips forward. Of course, you can do anything in between. Work at your own pace. Inhale in. Kick that left foot up and back. On an exhale, smile and gently release. Interlace the fingertips. Hug that left knee in towards the chest. Then draw the hands to the waistline, kick the left heel out strong, and we release. Awesome. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Step or hop it back to plank. Lower down. Come to upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale in deeply through the nose and exhale. Slowly lower the knees. Bring the knees together. Swim the fingertips around. Come into child's pose for a rest. Inhale, fill the back body with air. Exhale, imagine your sit bones melting down to kiss the soles of your feet. Quiet your breath. Then we'll reach the fingertips back up. And send the right leg out. Hike the right knee all the way up. Prepare for one-legged pigeon. Get situated here as you press into that back foot. Then inhale, extend through the crown of the head. Exhale. Float it down. Inhale, rise up, finding that wave of the spine here. Then you might reach the fingertips up here, you might not. And when you're ready, fold it down. Release into this sweet hip opener. Keep a mindfulness in that right foot.
Press into the palms, lift your heart. Curl the back toes under, and we'll draw that left knee underneath the right as we come into cow legs. Bring the palms to the soles of the feet, sit up nice and tall. Connect to your breath. And you can stay here or you can grab the elbows, clasping opposite elbows behind you. Stay there or on an exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, waving the spine. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, fold. Hold here for one breath cycle. Then we'll press into the sit bones and rise back up. Release the arms. Sit up nice and tall. Then slowly we'll unravel the legs, come back to all fours. Inhale, extend the left leg out long. Hike the left knee up, prepare for one-legged pigeon on the other side. Stay rooted in the top of that back foot as you inhale, extend through the crown of the head, and exhale, fold. Moving with your breath, inhale, rise up, exhale, release. Articulating through the spine here. Exhale, release. Deepening your practice here in Empower. And slowly we'll begin to roll it up. Curl the back toes under and draw the right knee underneath the left. Coming into cow legs, gomukhasan legs. You might sit up on a blanket or block here if this is tough for you. Stay in the moment, no toxic thoughts. Allow your practice to serve you. Check in with the neck. And feel free to stay here, breathing with the hips, palms on the soles of the feet. Or clasp opposite elbows behind, sit up nice and tall, and find your flow. Inhaling, we rise. Exhale, we fold. Keep the sit bones rooted here. Move with your breath. And we'll hold here, breathing into the hips. And then gently release. Awesome, release the arms, unravel the legs. And we'll extend both feet out in front. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, fold. Tuck your chin into your chest, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, fold. Keep it going, inhale, reach it up, pressing into the heels, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, release forward. Allow the hands to clasp wherever they fall. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bow your head. Great, slowly release. Catch the right knee, come on to the sole of the right foot. Moving into a twist here, we're gonna hug the right knee with the left elbow, press into the right fingertips behind. You can also come to the outer edge of that left arm here for a tighter bind. Being patient and using your breath to allow the twist to unfold. Gently bring it back to center, hug the left knee in, and we'll take it to the other side. Head over heart, heart over pelvis. Lots of options here. Be patient, don't push it. Then gently release it back to center, and we'll bring the soles of the feet together for cobbler's pose. Lengthen the tailbone down, check in with the neck, the shoulders. Let go of any stress or tension. 
And then we'll cross the right ankle over the left, dive forward, come to all fours. Then send it up to downward facing dog. Now we have a little optional handstand play. So we can start with playing with donkey kicks, bringing the toes together, keeping the gaze down, kicking the legs up. This is about exploration, not about doing handstand. It's about developing strength and coming into your power. We can also step one foot up and kick one leg up at a time. So we have donkey kicks or this kick up option. You can also take it to a wall here. And each time we come to this point in the practice, you can experiment with something a little different. It's fun to watch it grow. And when you feel satisfied, you can make your way back down to all fours and take a rest in child's pose. And tuck your chin into your chest, slowly roll it up. Inhale in and exhale, lion's breath, tongue out. Inhale in again, exhale, cleansing, exhale out. Awesome, one more, the real deal. We inhale in, exhale, look up, tongue out. Yeah, baby, awesome job. Close your eyes, turn your palms up. Notice how you feel. Slowly we'll transition all the way to flat back. Yay. Go ahead and reach the arms up and overhead, full body stretch. Then take a couple breaths as you bend the elbows and hug the knees up towards the chest. Then rock a little side to side, bringing the fingertips left to right, Texas T. Twist it out, massage the lower back. Then we'll wrap the arms around the shins. Hedgehog, peel the nose up towards the knee. Hold onto your right knee. Extend the left leg out long. Press into your left heel. Then switch. Back and forth. Pressing into the heel of the extended leg. Then reach it forward, straight legs, inhale in, and exhale, release everything. Corpse pose. Rock the head a little side to side. Get situated here. Tuck your chin into your chest, lengthen through the back of the neck. Inhale in deeply and exhale, release the weight of your body completely and fully into the mat. Soften through your fingertips, relax through the ankles and the soles of your feet. Rest. Beautiful practice today, my friends. Thank you for sharing your time with me, your breath with me, and your friendship. Namaste. All right, my friends, so hopefully you enjoyed that sweaty practice. I hope you're feeling good. Drink lots of water, okay? Make sure to drink lots of water, rinse your face, and uh, if you're interested in the entire package and power, again, it's my version of power yoga. I think it's really sweet. I think it's the real deal, if you ask me. It's a great workout, cardio, strengthening, toning, uh, really great for uh, you know the physical body but really also we touch on kind of the bi bigger picture uh, transformation uh, through emotional um, exploration I think that one of the biggest selling points of Empower is that it comes with a, a cool access to this awesome online community um, that's so inspiring really helps people get on the mat we've had lots of uh, success stories with that but really truly I've met so many great friends 
who inspire me to get on my mat and keep making these videos. So you get that. You also get um, a daily email. You also get a downloadable PDF, which helps guide you. We have supplemental videos that focus on the booty and your core, your abdominals. It's really awesome. And we shot it here in Texas in the summer. So it's, it's, uh, it's got a lot of heat and a lot of love. Um, I'm really proud of it. So if you're interested in that, head on over to findwhatfeelsgood.com. We'll make sure the link is below for you uh, so you can uh, join the Empower community and get in shape, find what feels good. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Free videos every Wednesday. Love you guys. Take good care. Namaste.